How's it going, people? All right, so I sound like absolute garbage. I know that. I've got a, uh, I've got some allergies happening. We're in the process of moving. So I apologize for how I sound during this video. And I'm gonna say uh, right off the bat, this box contains, in my opinion, a perfect example of why I absolutely love Watch Gang. First off, this box is basically free. I received an email from Watch Gang uh, a few weeks ago telling me that I had points that I needed to use. And so I essentially logged in and spun ye wheel of watches and came up with this. And so the fact that they would reach out and say, hey, look, you've got free money on the table or money you're about to leave on the table, uh, go spend it, I, I think is I think that's kind of commendable. So that's the first reason why I think this is this is a great company. The second is, as, as I learned with this watch, um, watch Gang exposes you to concepts in the industry, to manufacturers, to things that you, the average person, at least I wouldn't, would have had never had any reason to, to know. And so with this company, for example, that's in this box, uh, I gotta be honest, I found a lot of cool things out about this company. And, and in doing my research for this one, I have to be honest, it is it is probably the reason why I'm going to be doing another another video coming up that I think is gonna help pretty much everybody who's looking at uh, deciding on whether or not they wanna join a watch club. So let's let's crack into this. I have the, uh, the Exacto uh, Injury Inducer. And so I will open this, see how much blood we can keep inside of the body. I, try, I promise I'll try and edit out all the sniffles and horrible sounds. But here we go. So I'm not sure what membership level this usually appears on. Again, this came from uh, one of their clubs. I think I think it may normally be in the black tier, but let's, let's check it out. So here we go. I'm kind of excited for this watch. It is a Croton. The very fact that I understand how to say that that word, I think is kind of cool because I didn't know this company before. And like I said, I had to do some digging to find out something about them. So let's look at the watch. Attractive watch, one of those cardboard thangs. Uh, CA 301303 BKBK. So what that translates to is a pretty cool little watch. Check that out. This is the Sea Diver Gents. Uh, 20 atmosphere diver watch with black bezel. And I know I'm supposed to look at other things and I'm supposed to show you the warranty card and all this other good stuff, but I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm kind of jazzed for this watch and I'll tell you why. It is a Japanese movement diver bezel, uh, unidirectional, very nice feeling. I gotta be honest, that feels as good maybe even a little bit better than my Seiko. It has pretty good alignment to where the bezel lines up. Um, I've talked about this in the past, something that I kind of nitpick about with diver, diver watches. I personally like seeing that 15 minute marking uh, pronounced more. Uh, I'd even like it better if this other stuff wasn't here, but Croton has done that on this. They've basically uh, created this, the hash marks and on the 15 minute mark where you would normally uh, begin your safety ascent, they have it marked there. So there is a Cyclops on the date complication. It is pretty good visible, or it has some pretty good visibility. Uh, black on black face, loom. It has a sliding adjustable movement on the, on the band. I recognize that from the pins, but I'm still kind of a noob, so I'm not entirely sure how to, how to work with it. Anyway, but it's adjustable. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest. So, so here, so let me let me explain why I was kind of excited about this. You know, a lot of people get into watches thinking that they're gonna get the next the next Omega or the next the next Rolex, and what they don't realize is what goes into these watches. So let me let me just tell you what some of these specs are. Right. So, 20 atmospheres or 330 feet water resistance. Screw down locking crown. Uh, divers clasp and buckle, uh, unidirectional ratcheting bezel, luminous hands with markers. Let me just line that up with some light. Yeah, it's got some pretty decent loom even when some even basic 
basic uh, charging on the illumination. Japanese movement. Um, so what, I, what I've learned about this company and why I like Watch Gang as much as I do, um, this is a family owned company. They uh, started at back in 1878 and really wanted to produce a quality watch. And uh, they remain family owned uh, for throughout the existence of the company. Uh, they were purchased back in 1991 by another family owned company. And if you go onto the Croton website, you can actually see interviews with uh, the president, David Mermelstein. Um, but anyway, the, what I think is cool about this is this company basically sat out, set out with this, this dedication to quality and creating watches that they could be proud of. And it's kind of stayed a family owned business since then. The amount of detail that this company has put into their watches, the amount of care that they put into their watches, I think is, I think is awesome. Uh, it is, uh, actually no, it is not a, it's not automatic, it's a quartz movement. I just noticed that. So I was shaking it um, like an idiot. Yeah, uh, so, let me back up. I, I sound like a sound like a kid in Christmas morning. So I know this is not a Rolex. I totally get that. But what I think is cool about this is there is a company out there who is who has a dedication to creating quality watches. They're not charging a fortune for those watches. So even if you went out and purchased this retail by yourself without going out through Watch Gang, you're going to get, in my opinion, a, a quality watch that you could go diving and be happy with. I just think that's awesome. Uh, so it's it does list as a Japanese movement, probably a Miyota. I'm not totally sure what's in there. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, but again, this has everything I like. It's got a diver bezel, just like my prospects that you hear me hear me rave about. Um, you know, it's got the black on black, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of partial to, I have to admit. Uh, it's got the date complication with the Cyclops. I, I like that. Um, I have one in a quartz. I, I don't, I think I do have one or two, but, you know, the fact that I was exposed to this watch, the fact that I had an opportunity to learn something about this company, and more importantly, find out what goes into making this watch, I, I don't know. I, I if it wasn't for Watch Gang, I have to admit, I would not have that knowledge. And I'm going to be doing another video uh, coming up in the future. I guess coming up in the future is kind of, I'm sorry for all the messages, but I'm going to be doing another video that explains more about the processes and uh, costs associated with, with creating one of these watches. And hopefully that'll clarify some of the some of the noise that goes into people who are debating whether or not Watch Gang is right for them. Point being is Watch Gang kind of made me buy this watch using free money that I didn't know I had. Ended up getting a good quality watch from a family owned company. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know what to say except I'm happy and you should join Watch Gang. Thanks a bunch. I, I apologize for a ridiculous sounding video, but uh, stay tuned, subscribe. Uh, I do have probably my first video that I, I think everybody's going to like coming out in the very near future. So anyway, thanks a bunch. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I will talk to you soon.